I'm Axel and I'm here with Trey. So Trey, welcome. Introduce yourself, who you are and tell people what do you do. Uh, Trey Wilson, training at the gym, uh, former athlete. Okay, Trey, tell me more about your athletic career and what you have done and what sports have you been involved in your athletic, athletic career? Um, so I started with uh, soccer when I, was really, when I was younger. Went from soccer to basketball, uh, eventually grew out of soccer. Did uh, soccer, football, and track and lacrosse in high school. Ended up dropping, uh, dropping basketball and lacrosse and stuck with football and track all the way through high school. Got a got a number of football scholarships for college. Went to Vanderbilt, played football there for four years or four seasons, and played uh, in the NFL with Jacksonville. Great. Uh, can you tell me more about your track, track and field and other sport, uh, you know, experiences? Because uh, tell. From what you felt, you're a versatile athlete, right? Yeah. So, you know, how have been those experiences and what you have gained from those experiences? Um, I think playing different sports to give, like, it helps you develop overall as an athlete. Like, there are things like my footwork and my my ability to understand where my body is in space that I got a lot of that from basketball and soccer. And that helped me a lot in football. Uh, of course, the linear speed aspect that you get from track helps you across the board in any sport, just being able to accelerate and maintain top speed and and to get faster over the years. So I just think, uh, you know, being a multi-sport athlete makes you a better overall balanced athlete. Right. Uh, there are a lot of American athletes, and American athletes are basically very versatile, even if they only play, like, professionally one sport or in college they play one sport. But uh, their upbringing, they can play multiple uh, sports. So what do you think is the key that a lot of people can excel like that? I just think getting involved at an early age, you know, it's, it's the same thing as learning to speak a second language. The earlier you learn to speak it, the yeah. easier it is to learn. So the, the earlier you get involved in more sports, the easier it is to kind of develop those skills early on. Even if you only end up playing one sport, developing those multiple skills for multiple sports will help you along. So, uh, what would you say is like your favorite sport, and uh, what do you see like a uh, what would be the best sport for somebody who's trying to you know start sport? They ha he hasn't done this sport, or haven't picked any sport. So what would you say is like the best sport to choose? I think the easiest sport to just pick up and do. Not saying easy from a difficulty standpoint, but just from an accessibility standpoint is basketball. basketball. I mean, you can play basketball anywhere in the world. Right. It's hard to play American football in other countries just because. The popularity isn't there, and you don't necessarily have the equipment and everything that you need to pick up that sport. Uh, but basketball, soccer, you know, tracks a world sport as well. But I think from a just if I had to just pick up one sport and, and start doing it, it would be basketball. So you've been around athletics and uh, stuff like that. Uh, so can you name me maybe it could be a spiritual thing or something like that, but can you name me your biggest achievement, what do you think, like going through different kind of sports and uh what do you think is your best achievement or your best experience in sports? I just think, you know, everybody has critics. But I think my biggest achievement was even when I was in when I was younger in like the seventh grade, people were like, Oh, he doesn't have what it takes to be, you know, an elite level high school player. Then I was one of the top high school players in the country. They were saying, oh, I don't know if his skills would translate well to college. They ended up being an all conference player in college. Then they were like, I don't know if he has the skills to land on an NFL team, and then I played in the NFL. So consistently proving people wrong and proving the doubters that I can do anything that, you know, I set my mind to and I work hard enough to do, probably is my biggest achievement. So uh, can you tell me more about your mindset? How do you approach training and, uh, you know, maybe a competition or something like that? Because, uh, you know, you have to have a strong mindset, I believe, right, right. to achieve a lot of goals as you have achieved. It's just be wi be willing to go to the go to extra mile. You know, there's always gonna be somebody bigger, stronger, faster, can jump higher. Just there's always gonna be somebody more athletic than you. And you, uh, who can say who's the most athletic person in the world? But it's just you may be more athletic than me, but I want to do everything I can to outwork you. It's just controlling everything you can. The the effort that you apply in training, that's between you and you only. You can control it. You can't control the outcomes in a competition necessarily. You can't control what how other people perform. You can control you and the effort you put in the training. I see. So would you say that uh, competing in the uh, – do you want to compete more? And, like, uh, does that gives you uh, extra something uh, 
extra feeling that you want to keep maintaining because uh for example I remember Kobe Bryant said like he when he wins a championship he wants to repeat he doesn't he doesn't it, want to yeah. give that feeling to anybody else so do you have that competitive edge when you compete in, uh, yeah definitely yeah. success is definitely addictive just like he said every anytime you win something you want to win something else anytime you beat somebody you want to go beat somebody else so it's kind of maintaining that drive mentally that you know I get an opportunity to compete against somebody else I want to make sure I win not just I want to show up have a good time I want to win Right. So, um, can you uh, consider yourself as a winner? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Whether even even if you don't look at it from a wins and losses standpoint, just from a what the goals that I've set for myself, I consider myself a winner. Great. So maybe there's a one last thing you wanna tell people or ask me something like that. Um, have you enjoyed your experience here? Definitely. I I think I have grown in uh, different spectrums of, uh, in my life. Uh, athletically and um, I think I've grown like even like what you call it, mentally and, and, and like in every spectrum of life it's, right, it's, right so yeah it, it's been a pleasure to be playing with you since at I points, appreciate, so, okay. appreciate it appreciate it so thank you thank you